Wash. Today we are celebrating a very special day. It's Be Bald and Free Day. There's nothing wrong with having no hair or a chrome dome. Be Bald and Free Day is all about being liberated, leaving your hat or wig at home and facing the world without hair. In honor of Be Bald and Free Day, we will be sharing some fun facts about baldness with you. Like, did you know that a number of bald men rub ointment or balm on their head for that sparkle and shine? Because they do. Wow, that explains why their heads are always shiny. Now, what's up with sports? Seventh and eighth grade students, you've received an email link to sign up for wrestling and girls basketball. The plan is to start practices the week of October 26th, and competitions for both sports will start the week of November 16th. The seasons will conclude on December 18th. Students will attend practice on their in-person learning day, and online students will be assigned a day for their practice. Similar to the school day, we will be implementing health and safety guidelines during our sports season to include social distancing when possible, wearing masks during identified times, washing and sanitizing hands frequently. All students need to have a complete packet on file at school before they can participate in any sports. Packets can be turned into the main office at any time during the school year. Sports physicals are valid for 13 months from the date of the examination. However, the health intake and concussion forms must be completed each school year. Packets are available in the main office or can be found under the Athletics tab on the Washington homepage. Students who had their physicals signed on or after July 1, 2019 have received a one-time extension making them valid through December 31, 2020. If you have questions, please contact Mrs. Hafel at ehafel at dbqschools.org. Speaking of basketball, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and Charles Barkley are all bald. They sure are. Did you ever wonder if you lose hair in your future? One common hair loss myth argues that male and female pattern, pattern baldness can only be inherited through your mother's genes. However, the, fa the, ma the, the fact of the matter is that baldness can be passed down by either side of the family. So your next family gathering, check out your relatives who are bald, have thinning hair, maybe just a bald spot, or a receding hairline. That's right, because you might be next. As you get older, you're going to have to keep an eye out for your own potential future baldness. And speaking of getting older, a few Wahawks are doing just that. Happy birthday to Sergio Jones Weeks on Wednesday and to Jalen Lambert and Clara Winger on Thursday. May you keep or lose your hair as you want today. I think I'm going to dress up as Lord Voldemort for Halloween this year. Lord Voldemort is also bald! True. And if you love Harry Potter, you can pick... You can pick up that book as well as many other great titles at the Virtual Book Fair opening October 26th through the 30th. More details to come next week. Okay, I'm a big fan of wearing hats. Not only do hats cover up messy hair and bedhead, they can also be fashionable. So I was happy to learn that baldness is not caused by frequently wearing hats or helmets. You're totally right. With the cold weather right around the corner, you can be thankful that hats will keep our heads warm without causing any loss of hair. And now for our thought of the day. Better a bald head than no head at all. Be bald and free today, Wash!